Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is time for another video for the Crafty Christmas Collab 2020. I hope you'll stick around and see what I created for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. It's time for me to share another project that I created for Beth of Bourbon Creek Crafts Crafty Christmas Collab 2020 here on YouTube. Make sure that when you're done watching my video today that you check out all of the other collaborators. I hopped along last week and it is so inspiring. Everybody is going to be linked in the description box below. Last week I made a set of six slimline cards using the Christmas Delivery Paper Pack. I will pop a picture of those on screen now. The rest of this month I will be back each week sharing another project using that same paper pack which is the Christmas Delivery Pack from Cartabella Papers. For today's project that I'm going to share with you, I wanted to create a way to give a gift card that could be used after the gift card had already been redeemed or used up. So I decided that I was going to cover a mini composition book from the Dollar Tree. You can get three in a package for only a dollar there. From the paper pack, I used some scraps of pattern paper along with one of the 3x4 cut aparts for the front of it. You'll also see when I show you what I made that I altered a binder clip as well by just putting a scrap of pattern paper on the edge so it matched the composition book and it helps keep that closed like if you were going to use this in a purse or a bag after you get it, then it won't just be opened up getting ruined. And of course, I had to get out a gift card so I could show you how it works. Are you ready to see what I made? I have altered these mini composition books in the past to give as little gifts, but I thought that adding that gift card holder to the inside made it even more useful and just a fun way to give a gift card because let's face it, although you love to receive gift cards, they don't always come in the funnest packaging, so I thought this was a unique way to do that. If you would like to see a process video on this or a tutorial, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments section below. If you liked my project today and think you might make your own, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to go visit all of the other collaborators linked in the description box below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.